Hi guys, my name is Chen Xia. I am a math PhD student at Queen Mary University of London. This video is part of the A-level project on numerical methods. First of all, why do we study numerical methods? First, it can help us to solve problems that cannot be solved exactly. And we use numerical methods to model a variety of situations in many aspects of life. There are lots of real-world applications of numerical methods. For example, the mathematical modeling of the financial market, the simulations of black hole systems and the gravitational wave detections, which is related to my own research, and the weather predictions. These examples are all involved with solving equations in computers with the help of numerical methods. So what are numerical methods? There are a lot of them. Locating roots of equations, iterative methods, cobweb diagram, and the staircase diagrams. Newton Rapson method, numerical integration, and so much more. Different methods can be applied to different scenarios. Let's see this example. Locating roots of equations. So we have this equation x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Let's show that this equation has a root between 2 and 3. So how do we show it? We first let f of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 4. And then we calculate the function at x equals 2 and equals 3. So f of x equals 2 is minus 2, which is negative. And f of x equals 3 is 5, which is positive. So we have one negative value and one positive value. And since this function is continuous, we can say that it has a root between 2 and 3. So if we visualize this function, we can find that it actually has a root between 2 and 3 here. So if a function is continuous and there is an interval, well, f of x change signs then there is a root in that interval. Let's see another example about iterative methods. So let's use iteration to find the square root of 3. First, we need a guess number into this formula and get an answer. The formula is xn plus 1 equals a half times brackets xn plus a over xn bracket. Second, we put back the answer to the formula and get another answer. Then we repeat the process many times and the answer will be more and more accurate. Let's see how we find the square root of 3. So now a equals 3, and we have our initial guess x0 equals 2. Then we can calculate x1 equals a half times bracket x0 plus 3 over x0. x0 is 2, and by calculation, we get x1 equals a half times 2 plus 3 over 2 bracket which is 1.75. And then we repeat the process. We put back the answer 
to the formula and get another answer. x2 equals a half times x1 plus 3 over x1 bracket, which is 1.732. And then we repeat the process to get to x3. And finally, if we keep going like this, we can get closer and closer to the exact solution. This is how we find the square root of an integer. Let's see last example, newton Rasson method. So in my own research, we use this method to calculate the horizon of a black hole. So in this method, we first need a function of x equals zero, and then we use this formula, x n plus 1 equals xn minus f of xn over f prime of xn. For example, if my function is x cubed minus 2x minus 2, and uh, this, is, this, this function characterizes the horizon of the black hole, which is the boundary of a black hole. So if we can solve this function, equals zero, then we can find where the, hor the horizon of the black hole is. So to solve this um, equation by newton russell method, we first need to calculate the first derivative of this function. It is 3x squared minus 2. Then we need an initial guess Let's say x0 equals 1. Then x1 equals, if we put the value x0 equals 1 into the formula, we can get x1 equals 1 minus f of 1 over f prime of 1, which is dot 8. And then we put x1 equals dot 8 back into the formula and we can get x2 equals dot seven seven one four two and then we put x2 back into the formula to get x3 as we can see by following the process and repeated we can calculate the more and more accurate solution to the equation I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.